The last notable bus associated with the Steelers was Jerome Bettis. That could be changing in April's NFL draft. Leighton Van Der Esch does not share the same nickname with the Pro Football Hall of Fame running back, but the Boise State linebacker's family actually owns a bus. That's right, a 40 foot coach that can sit 30 passengers, complete with a mini kitchen, tables, and televisions. And just like the Jerry Mobile that Cowboys owner Jerry Jones brings to NFL happenings, there's no mistaking who is connected with this vehicle. If you were wondering which family is the best family in college football, that'd be Boise State Pound Late and Van Der Esch's family, which drove this bus from Idaho to Vegas for the Las Vegas Bowl. Pick.twitter.com slash XMVGJRT51938 Van Der Esch's stripped across the front cab like an identifying bus route. Van Der Esch's name also appears in big letters across both sides underneath striping done in the Broncos official school. Colors. Van Der Esch said his father Darwin purchased the ride to transport friends and family from his hometown of Riggins, Idaho, a town of 406 residents, to Boise State home games held three hours away. That thing used to take people to Disneyland, Vander Esch told co-host Gil Brand and me recently on Sirius XM NFL Radio. My father, got it for a pretty good deal. He renovated it a little bit and we had some really close family friends that had a body shop and decal place. We had them do the work for that. It turned out awesome. Put on Boise State blue and orange and I don't think it could have turned out better. The Van Der Esch bus is wild. Pick.twitter.com slash WSVJ6 Voof based on a slew of NFL media mock drafts. The Van Der Esch family might soon have to get the bus repainted in Steelers black and gold. No first round prospect is connected with one team more than Van Der Esch is connected with Pittsburgh. The pairing makes sense, albeit for reasons the Steelers never wanted. Van Der Esch has displayed the type of skill set that would make him attractive to a linebacker core missing Ryan Shazier whose NFL career is in question because of last December's spinal cord injury. Van Der Esch enjoyed a brilliant junior season that featured 141 tackles, four sacks and four forced fumbles as a do-it-all weak side linebacker. Suffice to say, Van Der Esch has made a successful transition from playing eight-man football at a high school, Salmon River, that had less than 100 students. I feel like we didn't really have like a specific assignment or anything, Van Der Esch said. It was just go out there and play ball and call the plays and run them. You get to the, FBS, level though, the 11-man side of it, and it totally changes. The physical difference in Van Der Esch entering the NFL combine was obvious on what is now a 6-4, to 256-pound frame. Even with the newfound bulk, the sideline-to-sideline -side speed and athletic ability Van Der Esch displayed at 240 pounds in 2017 transferred to a standout showing. Leighton Van Der Esch celebrates Boise State's win over Oregon in the 2017 Las Vegas Bowl. Getty Images Van Der Esch blazed a 4.65 second time in the 40-yard dash and notched a 38.5-inch vertical jump, which tied for second among all linebackers, edge rushers and defensive linemen. I think that's my ideal weight and what I'll play the best at, especially at the next level, Van Der Esch said. I mean, the dudes are bigger, faster, stronger so you've got to do everything you possibly can to keep up with everybody. Even if the Steelers want Van Der Esch, and there's no guarantee they feel the same way as draft pundits linking them together, he could already be off the board by the time Pittsburgh selects it now. 28 overall in the first round. Van Der Esch downplayed the connection being made between Pittsburgh and him. Whoever picks you, picks you, he said. That's where your fit's gonna be. But there is one thing Van Der Esch can predict, I'm sure the bus will be making trips to wherever I end up. For the record, 2,259 miles separate Riggins and Pittsburgh.